Let's bring in ESPN senior writer Mark Ogden, who covers Man U and joins us now live on the show. Mark, thank you for being here. I just wanted to read real quick what Ronaldo said. Uh, he said, I love Manchester United and I love the fans. That will never, ever change. It feels like the right time to seek a new challenge. I wish Manchester United all the best, end quote. And that is after the breaking news came out that he and the team are no longer together. So can you put into context for us what happened today and with Ronaldo now leaving Man U? The situation has been as it is now for about six months. At, at the end of last season, United missed out of the Champions League and he made it clear privately he didn't want to play outside the Champions League. But in the summer, United have told me that they were happy to let him go on a free transfer, but there was no clubs willing to, t to take him for, to pay his wages and to have him in the dressing room because he earns about half a million pounds a week. So this season, there's been a few incidents at United. He, he refused to come on as a substitute against Tottenham recently and he gave the interview to Piers Morgan, which was pretty much castigating the manager, the club, the owners. To that point, it became untenable, his relationship with the club. So there have been talks behind the scenes and the club have decided to let him go, let him see out the, the final six months of his contract as a free agent. So they've cancelled his contract, terminated his contract and they move on. What the club aren't saying and what Ronaldo's camp aren't saying right now is what sort of financial settlement there's been. He is due about £15 million on the remaining six months of his contract, but obviously people might say that he's, he's breached his contract by his actions. So that at the moment is, is, is behind closed doors as a private matter. Okay, so keep us up to date on that because that is certainly a lot of money that is sitting there on the line. But if it was a mutual agreement, you'd think there'd be some sort of uh, coming together, some sort of settlement there. As far as the future, I know right now we're going to have to wait and see how it plays out. But, but what, what do you think the future does hold for Ronaldo after the World Cup? His options are really limited because he's 38 in February and his goal output this season, he's got three goals and two against the, the champions of Moldova. So that shows you the standard he's played this season. So he's 38 in February. He's become a problem player in the dressing room, so a big coach won't want this player in the dressing room if he's so high maintenance. So his options are really limited. There is a suggestion he may go back to his first club, Sporting Lisbon, but the coach right now is not keen on taking Ronaldo back. Suggested about MLS, but again, you know, Ronaldo has never really shown a great interest in MLS. He may end up back in the Middle East. You know, the money right now is in Qatar, Saudi Arabia, but that would be quite a sad end to a career of Cristiano Ronaldo that if he ends his career in a, in a, in a minor league in, in the Middle East. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.